What's going on you guys? Cash Minier here and today I'm giving you guys a first of one of my vlogs. It's been a while since I've done this because a lot of people wanted me to start vlogging again. So I thought, eh, why not? So so today I'm gonna be doing like some of my vlogs they make can um they make consistent day-to-day -day life or or more just reviews or or day-to-day -day life and reviews um b b because i'm trying to ease back into this um like for that so today today's vlog bag is going to be a review and as you saw from the title i'm reviewing to you george harrison's all things must pass album that's the hoodie that i'm wearing right now all things must pass now i will forewarn you this this sweatshirt that i'm wearing they have this on george's website but i did not buy this off of george's website and I got it off another one because if I was gonna because to buy the George George Harrison website all things must pass sweatshirt it costs like seventy dollars total like after like everything thing like I'm um, the shipping wise and I and I'm not spending seventy dollars on a George Harrison sweatshirt so I went with this one this costs like 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 29 no th th this cost me like 47 dollars so i went with this one it still got the i'm um, the same color as george's is on there it's it's the same maroon and it's got the all things must pass the same the same type of on the same font on here and yeah so, so i'm happy what with it like even though it doesn't have the George logo go on the tag, I like it. So, so yeah. So that's enough of the sweatshirt. Now let's review the um the actual album itself. So, so, so there's different versions that you can get of this. There's this two disc version. There's the actual version with um um with like like um a, this was a um. A, uh, I'm a, for, for those of you that don't know about this album, this was technically George's first solo album, even though he had two other ones out, even though they were mostly instrumentals. This was considered his first actual solo album. So, so, um, so this was, so this was actually released as a triple album. There was the two discs on the back of all the, like, like of what all was on it but then the third disc consisted of like of like jam sessions demo sessions all kinds of stuff and i wish i got that but it was sold out on on both the site and amazon like i got this off amazon like there's multiple kinds you could get but i got this one it's just a two cd version because it's the actual album and it's nothing special so we got got i'm um, at the so we got the first disc, which is in here right now. It's actually playing. You can't really hear it. Um, but, but, and, and then we got the second CD, which is in here. Um, but we're going to open it. So what comes in here is it comes in the sleeve. There's different versions of it. Um, it's got, um, I don't know what it's got. It's got like. A super deluxe version and then a deluxe version but I'm but um, there's actually something in here that comes in here but this is what it looks like completely open it's a picture of George standing in a meadow at Friar Park it's a very nice one um, there's actually something I think it's over on my dresser I'm gonna over, hold on so I'm back this comes with both like like all versions of it come with this thing. If you're wondering what this is, I'm gonna hold on. I'm, let me just get it un, unfolded real quick. Let me just get it. So this gives you like this is um the 2020 mix where they release it as a stereo version. I'm sorry, there's something on my phone. Yeah, so they released this a like a stereo version of it um, because I don't know if it was a stereo version when they first made it i think it was but they but i or, or it may have been in mono i don't know but it gives you like a description of everything in 
here like George saying when I started the album all things must pass I, I was just trying to do a record and I had so many songs that I had just recorded one after the other and I give you a number description everybody there's Pete Drake right there Ringo is right there it's kind of hard to see him because he's kind of obstructed by by Pete's hand. There's George right there. There's Phil Spector right back there. There's Billy Preston who played um, a piano on the Let It Be album. There's Gary Wright right there. There's Eddie Klein and there's there's Klaus Vorman. They're all on the album. And this is a complete, um, this is a complete, um, transcript of Paul Hicks, one of the producers, and George's son, Danny, on here. They were talking about this. It's all, it's all, like, right here. If you want to, want to screenshot it to read it, here's your chance. You can do that right now. Um, so, and then it lists all the people on it, but you might be wondering, like, is this it? No, it's not. On the back, listed with all of it, it comes with a poster. This is it. This is the poster. That was the back. This is the actual poster itself. What this is, it's a picture of George in a, in one of his windows at Friar Park inside. He's kind of darkened, but you could tell that he's there. He's right, th he's sitting right there. Um, there's a better, um, uh, th there's a better clear picture of that, um, as George's profile picture. I had thought about getting this hung up, but I think I've decided to just leave it as it is in the album, um, because I don't know if I could hang, I'm um, gonna hang it up. So, so, so let's move on to the album, like on what's included in it. So, so. So this version that I got, it's just the two CD version. Like you can get the three CD or the Uber Deluxe, which has like, which costs like a thousand dollars. It's got like, like a model of something of like George and the Gnomes and stuff. And it's got a box and everything. So this right here, this is the first disc of the first nine songs that are on this one. It, it goes, I'd have you anytime, my sweet Lord, wah, wah. Isn't it a pity? Version one. What is life if not for you? Behind that locked door. Let it down. Run of the mill. And there's a picture of one of the gnomes, which I think that gnome is right, right there. That's that gnome right there, right there. And then, and then. It's got the disc in it, which um, the disc would be in it, but it's in the my radio right now, which is playing right now. I don't know if you can hear it. Like I said earlier, I don't know if you can hear it, but all right, so I'm gonna put this empty sleeve back in and unroll it again. And there go and there goes and here comes the other one, with which has yet again more songs listed, fourteen. I'm um, the other fourteen. And another gnome, which that gnome is the gnome, what, right, uh, there, that gnome right there. I just zoomed in, if that's what you were wondering. So, so this, so this is that gnome right there. They took a sideway view of them. Um, and, and then this one's got the, um, uh, the rest of the songs listed on it. Let me get a good view right there um this is uh, this one starts with beware of darkness apple scruffs which was written about young beetle um um young beetles followers which would hang outside the studios after they would record and made sure that other people didn't trample over them so okay so we got beware of darkness apple scruffs ballad of sir frankie crisp also known as as a um as a let it roll a waiting on you all the title track all things must pass that's actually one of my favorite songs i've been listening to it a lot lately 
Um, I dig love, art of dying. Isn't it a pity version two? Hear me, Lord, out of the blue. It's Johnny's birthday. Plug me in. I remember Jeep and thanks for the pepperoni. I haven't heard all of these, but this is a very good album. Now, on the now on the original version of the album and a couple of the remastered ones, they didn't include version two of Isn't It a Pity? Or at least I think, because on the original album version, I cannot find um, version two. I can find version one, I just can't find version two because I don't think they listened it. Um, listed it as version two well one uh, in on the original album um so that's so that's pretty much it for this album um all things must pass um this this just fits right in there like that and then you just close her up like that and that's all things must pass this actually this didn't come on onto this this came on the packing um, but I, I took, I took this sticker off of the packing and put it on here because this was too cool to throw away. Let me put it on here. Now this is different than most of the new album uh, releases because the new album releases, um, this on um, a deluxe version is different than the other ones because the other ones this one has you know the standard all things must pass front picture and the color trees kind of in the background with that but most versions now they include george holding an umbrella and this um um i'm on the cover but on this one it doesn't um and trust me like if you look up all things must pass <laughs> Um, uh, 50th anniversary you'll find him him holding that umbrella but but other than that um, uh, that's pretty much it um, there, so right now I'm uh, we'll let you guys uh, listen to the song real quick um What's playing right now is Wawa. Well, let's go to a better song. Not this one. Oh, no, not that one. Yeah, this one. This is If Not For You. Which actually, that was a Bob Dylan cover. Um that George included on this. I think some of these might be covers of just that one and then the rest is by George. If not for you, babe, I couldn't even find the door. I couldn't even see the floor. Don't be copywriting me, YouTube. This is just a review. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's enough of that. Um, yeah, so, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and comment down below on other stuff that you would want me to review, and, and let me know what you thought of this, this vlog video, like, I'm trying to get back into vlogs, I mean, a lot of people on Instagram were saying that they wanted me to bring back vlogging, so I thought, eh, why not? So I finally did it. I kept saying I would do it and then I never got around to it. But but this time I'm actually doing it. So let me know what you guys want to do. What do want me to do? And I'll see about it. But but I will warn you, I don't I don't I'm yes I will warn you that all vlogs won't be on my phone like uh, like among um, some of these like short like I'm um, a uh, I'm a review vlogs might be um but most of them are gonna be filmed using my camera over there and eventually when I replace 
that camera. They'll also be on that camera. So just a uh, for, forewarning, to, warning to let you guys know about that because I don't want you to expect that the, for them to always be on my phone. Like they all won't be, but yeah. So anyways, guys, uh, that's gonna do it for this vlog. Sorry, I almost burped. Um, but anyways, that's gonna do it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been Cash, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.